organizing the visit? Well, first of all, I, I came to Penn State because they wanted somebody to pep up the, the graduate students and give the whole place for $1,800 a year. Wow. And so I came and I thought it was pretty good. We had ice cream, uh, an ice cream cone once a week, and that was our recreation. And so I started, and I started the Lion, the Penn State Lion. Mm -hmm. and they, uh, it, it got bigger and bigger and bigger, and the students, were, each students will compete for it. And uh, then I, uh, this is during the war, or just before the war, and I started a circus, and uh, because they won, and got all the students in phys ed interested, including the coaches, the basketball coach and so forth. They were all members of the circus committee. In those days, you know, we weren't very proud. And then we got all kinds of circus equipment that I could get, like big balls, and you had to run and jump on and walk it and so forth. And also unicycles mm -hmm. and tight wire mm -hmm. and uh, steps to go up and down. That's for guys that can do handstands and whatnot. And then we had trapeze made for the women, and the women were taught sequences uh, for, for trapeze work and elevated them up so they had those skills that were rather safe, you know. Um, so we had a circus, and uh, we had, I, bought, I, was, I took pictures of Ringling Brothers equipment as it was lying on the floor and then bring it home and have them made at the uh, thing, like perch poles and the guy on top of it. <laughs> And one of the perch pole holders soon became the governor of Alaska, and we went out to see him a couple of years ago. He took us to his private place. And um, so this circus got better and better. And we had three of them, and they got more dangerous and more dangerous. <laughs> Boy, thank you for the war. They stopped the circus because I knew that on one of these skills, somebody's going to get killed. We had beautiful skills. Then during the war, I was in charge of the uh, ASTP, that's the Army Reserve. Those Army guys that were sent back to get more training because they didn't want them, they, they weren't good enough. And so we had them at Penn State by the hundreds. And I had to give them exercises every day and then we had obstacle courses which I built and they had to go over there and then we had to run the, the track, uh, the golf course. That was an old day. Thing. And it was, it was one, one, one funny thing after another. For example, hmm. my assistant was the football coach the uh, boxing coach who, who fought uh, Tooney and those guys. And one of the guys from the army called him a name one time. And boy, he was going to kill him, but uh, the guy was fast and good run. And I'd lead him on cross country runs, put most of the guys in the back, but take a shortcut across. He was there. Me, you know, uh, and that was what I did during the war. Then, in addition to that, there were some gymnasts that I had had minor defects, but they kept training and training, so that when we had the national AAU or the national NCAA in Chicago, we won the darn thing. And then we won the next, and then about five more, a total of nine national team championships. And um, during, uh, after the war, I was a coach of the 48 Olympic team. 
<coughs> and um, poor, poor uh, England was was in bad shape. They didn't have any soap. We had to stay in army barracks. Hmm. It, it was sad. Anyway, I had a, a box of soap. Little stuff, which I got from Rec Hall. And I gave it, uh, I met my German, a German gymnast <coughs> who defected to, to England. And so he was living in England. And I opened this thing, it had a million little soap to you. I gave him that. We became friends for life. Hmm. This was something they hadn't seen. <laughs> like a box of chocolates. Oh, <laughs> much more. Many little pieces of soap. I got it from Rec Hall before I left. Mm -hmm. I knew I could use it. But I didn't know they didn't have soap. And when he saw that, uh, we became friends. And then in 1968, we were in battle with the AAU. The AAU wanted to run all the sports in this country. And all the sports didn't feel that was right. Anyway, the AAU picked the Olympic coaches and all that sort of stuff. We had one vote. And so did uh, the YMCA have one vote, and the German Turnverein had one vote, and the NCA had one vote. NCA, mind you. And it was that kind of a war oh, then a battle went on. It took ten years of labor before we were able to get a vote internationally. And if it weren't for all the international people I brought over for me, we never had those votes. And the Russians loved us because we brought the Russians over. I'll tell you about that. In 1960, nothing like that ever existed. U uh, USSR. And they were, you know, and the enemies of mine. And I knew they weren't. Oh, did you see this? <laughs> and I made friends with all the, all the different countries because after all I, I didn't know the coaches in every country and I brought over 16 international matches. Each one was a big event with a band, their music, comedy acts and then a meet. And those things made such a hit with the people here that I also got the award as having done the most for faculty at Penn State. That was a thousand dollar reward. I got that in 1972 or something like that. And a lot of things, lots of things. Our gym meets were always full of us. And they were always, they That's always had they an intermission with funny acts. Hmm. And then we go back. Can't believe the acts we got. I went to the uh, act, the uh, arts department, and got the real guys that knew how to act. And it was just hilarious what we did in those days. They loved that intermission. And, uh, Dad, I think. I understand that, uh, well, I was there, of course, during that time. The, um, when you had double dual meet or double headers on, on Saturday evening in the gym, they, people would uh, often leave after the gymnastic match before the basketball game started, didn't they? In other words, they, they liked the gymnastic matches and filled the house. Yeah. And, but wrestling and some of the other sports oh, the wrestling couldn't weren't even drawing as well as gymnastics, which is amazing. Amazing sport. <laughs> Does she know that little house that she got? The little dresser? She'll yeah. see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, she'll play with that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's just the thing for mm -hmm. her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a doll. You lucky guys. How lucky can you be? Yeah.